Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be unpacking issues 50 and 54 of the Mortal Realm subscription magazine. A few days ago, I unpacked issue 34 of the Mortal Realms magazine, which was the Statue of Sigmar, and this is part of the Dominion of Sigmar time-worn ruin set. But there's also a couple of other sprues included in that set, and so they come in these two issues, which are 50 and 54. So in this video, I'll get these unpacked, we'll have a close look at the sprues, then we can have a look at the magazines and just see what's included, so you can see what these Mortal Realms magazines are all about. Then I'll get these cut off the sprues, put together, and then we can put them next to that Sigmar statue and see what the whole set looks like assembled. Put a few miniatures with it, and then that'll give you a good idea of what you get for your money. Okay, these are a bit noisy, so I'll just cut the wrapper off, get rid of it quickly, and then we can have a look at the contents. So let's get rid of this out of the way. There's one. And the second one. Awesome. So there we go. So these are going to be the two sprues that you would get in that time-worn ruin set. So issue 50 and 54. And the good news is that both of these issues are still available to pick up from the Forbidden Planet website. And I'll put a link for that in the description below. And I paid $7.99 per issue of these. And I get them delivered as part of the subscription um, from Hatchet patchworks and i'll put a link to that in the description too and so the way it works is you get one issue a week but they deliver it every four weeks and so you just pay for four issues at a time and then you get free delivery so for what just under 32 pounds a month i end up getting four of these and so then that saves it coming like every week and you save quite a bit on the delivery charge but if you just wanted to pick up one copy of this or one copy of this or some of the other issues that have been released throughout the whole subscription then check out Forbidden Planet because you can buy them there and often they're cheaper than $7.99 as well so you can even save a bit of money there is a delivery charge but if you're ordering a few that's um, negligible and you can kind of make that back up in the savings too so there's some great value on there some of the miniatures that they put for $7.99 actually sell for £20 so you save a lot of money so really good value I definitely recommend checking that out okay so let's have a look at the sprues up close and I'll just focus in on this one. So these are some great terrain pieces. I think for Warcry, these are going to be just great as scatter pieces. There's some nice height on there. Not more than an inch, though, in some places. So it's not going to do more than just kind of make the battlefield look a bit crowded and maybe a few obstacles to go around and climb over a little bit. Um, but yeah, going to be great fun combining it with that statue and the existing terrain that we've got that came in the catacomb set. I think this is going to be a great little addition. But really nice piece there, the head of the Griff Hound, or maybe a Griff Charger. So that's our first sprue. So that's issue 50, and then this one comes in issue 54, and this is a really nice piece. It looks like we've got another fallen statue from uh, Statue of Sigma there. The huge axe, which looks cool. This head as well, and some more pillars. So some really nice scattered terrain. This is going to come up a treat when it's painted. I had some great suggestion in the last video, so thanks for that. That was really awesome. I really like the idea that was put forward of painting it in the kind of different colours and then going over it with a dry brush in a sandy colour and texture as if it's been kind of damaged by the weathers in the desert. So that sounds really cool. And then around the bases of all this, we could put some sand to show it that it's kind of mounting up and overgrowing. So I think that this will come up really nice doing a technique like that. So there we go, there's the two sprues. So now let's have a look through the magazines themselves and see what's included in each. And so here we've got issue 50 where we're gonna find out a bit more about the Sigmarite ruins, discover the Vanguard chambers and learn to use war scroll battalions. So in here it gives us all the contents that we're gonna get in the issue. So everything we're gonna learn about, uh, we're gonna learn about the o o uh, Ogre Moor tribes, uh, how to build the ruins, how to paint them, some more core rules and then the execution horde and headhunt. So this is to put the first War Scroll Battalion to the test with a new battle plan to pay. So this whole Mortal Realms is all about the Age of Sigmar, teaching you how to play with some great information and background about all the lore and things like that. But this is going to be the older edition of Age of Sigmar now, so it's not going to be that relevant regarding the rules to this new edition. But if you want to get the lore and catch up, this is great, because each kind of episode or each week, you get some really nice information, some great artwork, Loads of background and reading to do on the different 
have like warriors from Stormcast Eternals, learn about the Night Haunt, all the different factions. And it's just a really nice book, like how they lay out the Ogre Moor tribes here. It's just a great introduction to this faction. It's not too much to read, but it's certainly enough to kind of give you a flavour of what they're all about. And then the how to build sections are really great in these magazines. And it just teaches you exactly how to like snip it all off, put it together. This one's going to be really easy. I mean, you literally just take it off and clean up all the mould lines. But the paint guides are good. Give you some real nice clear instructions on the colours. And then these are great, all step-by-step -step process for all the different colours and how to do it. So this is really nice. Again, not great if you use contrast paints, but if you like the traditional method or you want to learn it, then this is a brilliant place to start. Now you can see the finished models there. Then we learn a little bit about the War Scroll Battalions and how that works. And then it takes you through some examples of gameplay, then gives you a little mission to get stuck into. And that's pretty much everything that's included. And then on the back, you find out what's coming in the next two issues. So that's issue 50, some great info in there and a nice bit of reading. I'm certainly going to look forward to reading about the Ogre Moor tribes. Now we're on to issue 54, where we're going to see the time-worn ruin, learn and discover the sons of Behemoth and do battle in the ruins of Chamon. So here we go. So we're going to learn about the sons of Behemoth, Vandus Hammerhand, Dolorum, the War of Life, then we're going to see how to build the ruins, how to paint them. And then we're going to find out about the Time Worn Ruin War Scroll and how that has an effect in our game of Age of Sigmar. And then a little battle to get stuck into called Treasure and Terror. So here we go again, some really nice images, some great background. And this is what I really like about these. You get some images in here that you're just not going to see anywhere else. So it's really nice and it really just builds you up slowly to learn the lore. And it comes with a nice folder that you can put it all in. So let me grab that so you can have a, have a look. So you get this binder and then you can fill it with all the Mortal Realms magazines there. So you build up your kind of collection and your knowledge as you go. So a really nice little collection this. And then we find out about the Realm Gate Wars before we find out how to build it. Again, this is just cutting it out and trimming those lines. So nice and easy. And here we can see all the pieces put together now. So we've got all these and we'll find out in a bit once I cut them out we can put them all together and see what they look like with some miniatures in amongst them another great how to paint guide really helpful and then we get the war scroll that tells us how this would work in Age of Sigmar again this is going to be for the previous edition so not the most up-to-date one but still really good and then we get a little bit of information there and a little battle plan at the end to get stuck into and it tells us what's coming next this was a great issue 55 we got the lord Arcanum on celestial draca line so i'll be unboxing and building this one really soon because i really want to add this to my army this is great and he's going to be going with the stormcast eternals that came in the dominion box set so that's coming soon can't wait for that one and this was also a good one we got the knight of shrouds so two good issues these were so looking forward to unpacking those but there we go there's the two magazine issues so now i'll go and get the different parts snipped off the frame and then we can have a look at them all together with some models and there we go it's all assembled and i've brought out the sigma statue to put it all together so you can see when it's all set up it looks really great loads of little pieces here to hide in amongst and behind and although there's not a huge amount of height i think it's really interesting and it's going to look great on the war cry table you can see that statue is huge even compared to the colonel hunter it's really big and then we got the guy here from the Science of the Flame, he's pretty much covered up to halfway and then this piece, the only piece that needed to be glued together, gives a little bit more height, hiding that heart eater. So all round a great set and I think having these two issues to put this together was really good and you get some nice detail in these pieces, especially the Griff Charger head that you can see here. So really impressed all round with this. So if you like the look of this set, then you can get all the things we just saw in the pictures there as part of the Dominion of Sigmar Time Worn Ruin set. And it's £30 RRP on the Games Workshop website. And so you get everything that we've unpacked in this video and the previous video for the statue. So it's available there at the Games Workshop website, but I'll also put a link in the description where you'll be able to find it at Element Games. 
And uh, Element Games, you're going to be able to get a discount of 15% at the moment, and it's going to take it down to £25.50. So you save a decent amount of money there, and that takes it almost close to the price I paid with the subscription. So paying for £7.99 for each issue, I paid just under £24 for this set. So I saved a little bit of money, um, but I did also get those magazines, so I think it was well worth it for that. But if you just want to get the set... Uh, not worry about the magazines, then you can certainly get it for £25.50 straight away, no problem. But if you did want to pick up the two uh, uh, issues that I went through today, 50 and 54, they're available at forbiddenplanet.com for £7.59 each, so you can save a little bit of money. There is a delivery charge there of £2, but if you order a bunch of them, you can bring that delivery cost down and make it worthwhile. So that's all available on that site, and there's a link for that in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful and it gave you a good idea about exactly what you get in these Mortal Realms magazines and also how you can save a bit of money on some of these sets. Certainly on the miniatures you save a lot more, but I think the terrain is good because you don't have to buy big sets, you can just get a little piece and just pick up some scatter terrain or little items that you really like. So all round, I love the Mortal Realms and I really hope they do it for the new edition of Age of Sigmar and next time it comes around I'll also be doing the 40k version because I think that's going to give some great value too. But again I hope you enjoyed it and thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it and subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel then please check out my Patreon page and thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out and you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description and it'll be great to see you there.